Hallo alle zusammen, ich bin June. Herzlich willkommen auf meinem Kanal. Heute sind wir in Deutschland. Hi everyone, my introduction was in German because we'll be experiencing Germany today. First of all, let's see what we have. Uh, look at this. These are stones of the original Berlin Wall from 1989. My dad brought these in 1990, shortly after the fall of the Berlin Wall. And you know, I was eight and I really didn't like these stones because I wanted to have something pretty and these are not pretty and I didn't understand why it was important to have this. I think all of you know why there was a wall in Berlin, right? Just in case some of you don't know, I'm gonna explain it to you. After the Second World War, Germany was divided in four occupied zones, the United States, United Kingdom, France and the Soviet Union. The whole country was occupied by the military for four years. And after that, the zone which was occupied by the Soviets became East Germany. And the other zones that were occupied by the United Kingdom, United States and France became West Germany. East Germany was a communist state and West Germany was a democratic state. West German economy grew rapidly. It was called Wirtschaftswunder, which means the miracle of economy. So West Germany became a way better place to live in. That's why there were so many people who fled from East Germany to West Germany. The best way to flee was to go to Berlin because West Berlin was close to them. And of course, the East German government didn't like it. If everybody goes to West Germany, there won't be anyone left in East Germany. So in 1961, East Germany built the Berlin Wall, which cut off West Berlin from surrounding East Germany, including East Berlin. So West Berlin was like an island in a red ocean of communism. After several protests in East Germany in 1989, the Berlin Wall finally fell and the official reunification followed on October 3rd, 1990. So this stone is not just a stone, it's the symbol of freedom and my precious. My precious. Well, the history class is over. Now Berlin is the capital and the largest city in Germany. There are a lot of tourist attractions like the Brandenburg Gate, the rebuilt Reichstag, Museum Island, Berlin Wall Memorial, Berlin Television Tower, Checkpoint Charlie Museum, Holocaust Memorial, and so on. Berlin is popular to young people because of the cheap price of accommodations and also there are a lot of parks, museums, and clubs as well. Now we are going to Bavaria. Wenn man von Berlin nach München kommt, dann hat man das Gefühl, als ob man im anderen Land wäre. Das ist total anders hier. In Bayern haben viele Trachten an, besonders die Kellner und Kellnerinnen in bayerischen Restaurants, aber auch viele andere während den kleinen oder großen Festen. Das größte und bekannteste Fest ist natürlich das Oktoberfest. The population of Munich is 1.4 million. During this Oktoberfest, there are 7 million people here. Just imagine how crowded it must be. Look at this. This is a beer bar in Munich. Comparing to the other federal states in Germany, people generally drink a lot of beer in Bavaria. If you go to a restaurant in Cologne, for example, you could order a beer of 0.2 liter. But in Bavaria, this size doesn't exist at all. The small size would be 0.3 liter, but there are many restaurants where you can order only 0.5 or even 1 liter. If you go to a big famous beer hall like Hofbräuhaus in the evening, they offer you only this size of beer, which is 1 liter. So don't 
order a beer unless you can drink the whole one liter. What I do is ordering apple juice, a mixed drink with apple juice and mineral water because it looks like beer a little bit. The color is the same. In order to book a table at Oktoberfest, which was cancelled this year, it's obligatory to order two of these big beers per person and also a half chicken. You'd rather be a good drinker or you'd be with friends who can drink a lot of beer. This mug is actually a souvenir from Munich. You can see a picture of Munich around this beer mug. And you can open this part and drink like this. There are lots of tourist attractions in Munich as well. The new town hall is very beautiful. Every day at 11 a.m. and 12 a.m. and also 5 p.m. in summer, there is the performance of the Glockenspiel. The Deutsche Museum is the world's largest museum of science and technology. You can see the original U-boat, which was used for the First World War, the original airplane of Wright Brothers, the original ships, and also many miniatures. In Munich, there are a lot of art museums too. Alte Pinakothek, Neue Pinakothek, Pinakothek der Moderne, Lembachhaus, and so on. The English Garden is also a tourist attraction. I always love to watch people surfing there. It's amazing to be able to surf in the middle of the city. By the way, in Germany, people are allowed to sunbathe naked in the park, so don't be surprised. If you'd like to visit the most famous castle in the world, take a train to Füssen. It takes only two hours to get there from Munich and you will see the Neuschweinstein castle which was the model for the Walt Disney castle. Not only the castle but everything in the surrounding area is so beautiful there because the castle was built on the Alps so you will see lots of nature. Once I saw a swan family with swan babies. They were so cute and also funny. They were staying side by side in front of people as if they wanted us to take pictures of them. They stayed for a while like that and then they moved to other group of people and they did the same. It was incredible. King Ludwig II, who built the Neuschweinstein castle, built also two other palaces in Bavaria, the Herrenkinze Palace and Lindehof Palace. Each of them has a different charm. That's why I love all of them. Let's get back to my souvenirs. This one is from Neuschwanstein. I bought this magnet in Lindau. And this one is from Rotenburg of the Tauber. It is also a small, beautiful town in the middle of Germany. And this one is from Bremen. These characters are from the fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. Of course, there are much more stories and cities I would like to show you in Germany, but now I'd like to show you the food. This is Schweinshaxe, the pork hock, which will be cooked in a different way depends on where you are. It's usually grilled in the south of Germany and it's boiled in the north of Germany. And this one is Schweinsbraten, sliced pork roast with a crunchy crust. And this is sauerkraut, fermented shredded cabbage. This goes with a lot of German dishes. And of course, lots of sausages, potatoes, and bread are eaten in Germany. Now I cook something German, so let's meet in the kitchen. I'm gonna make Hesespätzle, traditional German dish.
is my kitchen after making spätzle. It doesn't look like spätzle, but I'm gonna eat it. Like and subscribe, please, and see you next Friday. Bye!